President Donald Trump recently signed an executive order stopping the immigration of refugees. He targeted immigrants from Muslim countries and said he will allow exceptions for Christian immigrants. This is a violation of everything we stand for. The Statue of Liberty reads, Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. It has always been an American tradition to accept those who are persecuted in other countries, regardless of who they are, where they come from, and what they believe. It's not just about American traditions. This is personal for me. My parents are Muslim immigrants. My wife's family are refugees who escaped the Vietnam War. My co-host is a Jewish woman whose relatives survived the Holocaust. As a psychologist, I've worked with patients who gained asylum in America because they were tortured under foreign governments. Everyone deserves equal human rights. But America has not always held up to this ideal. We have a history of limiting the fundamental rights of others in the name of national security. We did it with Jim Crow laws. We did it when we interned Japanese Americans. We did it when we turned away Jewish refugees during the rise of Nazi Germany. And now we're doing it again. Desmond Tutu said, if you are neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. I will resist this oppression and I am asking you to do the same to stand up for human rights and to ensure that America lives up to its ideals. Psychologists have studied how to stop oppressive systems and create effective political resistance. Here's what you need to know. Use your anger. Anger is a spark that ignites resistance. It's the emotion that is responsible for empowering people to come together and to take collective action against oppression. Listen to your anger. It activates your body, breaks you out of your everyday routine, and gets you to act. Don't be afraid of anger. While anger might create aggressive thoughts, most people don't get violent when they get mad. But it's important to keep your anger focused on aggressive policies, not on the Americans who voted for Trump. Remember that the country that elected Trump also elected Obama twice. If you're struggling with anger or other emotions, take care of yourself before you focus on others. I've got some resources that help you to do this in the description below. Embrace shared goals. We all have different issues that are important to us, but when we come together on one issue that cuts across these differences, when we feel like our fates are linked, that we will either rise together or fall together, that's when we form a shared social identity. Protecting our constitutional human rights is an issue that cuts across all Americans, regardless of our politics. But we can become easily divided over individual differences. Issues like abortion and race can ruin a shared social identity, divide leadership, and threaten resistance movements through infighting. Don't let perfect be the enemy of good. Stand together and the resistance will move forward. Peaceful protest. Research shows that peaceful protests work. They bring attention to your cause and strengthen a movement's shared social identity. ASAP Science made a great video about how protests work and you should really check it out for more information. When you can, be present at protests. It makes a real difference. Get noticed. Resistance movements begin to achieve their goals when they get noticed by journalists, the judicial system, and elected representatives. News coverage increases public support and gets the attention of larger organizations who can enact large-scale change. The simplest way to get noticed is to call your elected officials. I know it sounds too simple and no one under the age of 35 makes phone calls anymore, but trust me, phone calls are hard to ignore. Visit usa.gov slash elected officials to find out who your representatives are and how to reach them. I know this is a lot of overwhelming information, so I'm going to leave you with just one thing to do. Do. Get connected with the ACLU. The ACLU is a nonpartisan organization that defends constitutional rights. Everything from gun rights and religious rights to women's rights and civil rights. Visit ACLU.org, sign up to get free email updates, and follow them on social media. If you can, make a donation as well. Viktor Frankl, psychiatrist and Holocaust survivor, said, Everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. Let's work together, choose to fight oppressive policies, and renew our commitment to American values. Share your resources in the comments below and let us know how you plan to fight oppression in your community.